Here's how Switzerland will line up. Well, as you can see, it's a fairly narrow midfield, so it does mean that the fullbacks need to break forward at the right time. But it's the number 10 who really has to affect the game today. A look at the New Zealand starting 11. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers, and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And cutting inside. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. This to open the scoring here. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. She has teammates around her, and a body in the way. Come on, let's go, let's go! Happy to take on the shot, and good work to deny the chance. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Well, pressure building. Another corner. Now with Riley. And fed forwards. Played into the centre. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. It was anything but. It's got to be. Oh, she couldn't break the deadlock. Well, what a chance to possibly win the game. She has to be more composed than that. And the referee brings this contest to an end. We can say officially now they will be in the knockout stages thanks to this draw. Well, I thought the draw was the fair result. I think they just about deserved it. And now they can go into the last 16 full of confidence and maybe improve on that performance.